stop stop cutting people off instead don't give them access to you in the first place because once somebody is already in your life that person can mess you up that person can destroy you that person can bring out type of negativity a type of toxicity so before you allowing somebody else somebody in your life and then cut them off years later months later remove your access to people don't give them access to your life don't in the first place do you know why because a lot of time people get rushed into friendship relationship association just because people want to be liked by everybody they want to be accepted by anybody they want to be approved they want to feel valid they want to be they want to feel welcomed by everybody but guess what not everyone is going to like you not everyone is going to love you and that's completely okay but if you are not comfortable you being alone and taking time to know the person before giving that person access to you you are going to regret it later because once somebody do you something the damage is already made no matter if the person is out of your life or no matter if that person you and the person don't talk anymore the pain the damage is already made so instead of you focusing on oh come in my life i'm gonna cut you off if if you are negative take time to know the people that you are hanging out with instead of before you calling somebody friend what if you spend months years knowing the person because i don't know about you all but friendship is not something that i take slightly i commit a mistake in the past that's why i was in horrible friendship and i was a horrible friend in the past but i'm i'm glad i learned my lesson before you calling somebody a friend analyze the person because a lot of you don't have friends why you have these people who want to use you who want to be around you when they need you people who are taking advantage of you that's why you have those are not your friends that's why you most of you have in your life people who are going to tell you why you want to hear they're not going to tell you the truth people who are going to lie you lie to you just so they can keep winning and they can keep taking advantage of you that is not your friend Whenever you turn off the light in your life, whenever everything is dark in your life, you're going to be able to tell who's with you. That's something I, 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 I learned the hard way in the past. That I was like, oh, that person is my friend. No, we vibe, we're chilling. Oh my God, we spend some time every day. But whenever, whenever I was in the dark, I was crying because things were not going good for me in my life. Those people were not around me. Not even a bit. I was devastated. I was in my room every day thinking, oh my God, what can I do? Oh my God, how will I get out of this situation? Those people never check up on me. Never, not even once. But I was considered them my friends. I'm going to say it again. Stop cutting people off. Instead, don't give them access to you in the first place. Not everybody deserves to be in your life. Yes, I get it. This can sound harsh, but it's the truth. You will be surprised how many people walk in this life being energy vampires how many people are jealous of you and they are in your circle and how many people will come to your life only to destroy you only to make sure you fail only to make sure you remain poor and unhappy because some people since they couldn't do it they are not going to allow you to do it analyze people the best way you can know somebody is by paying attention to their actions day behaviors don't listen to words don't don't even try that don't listen to words don't ignore what they saying and listen to how they act because anybody can tell you oh i love you i support you i believe in you but how many people with it with their actions can actually prove you that they love you that they support you that they believe in you not many right and you pay attention to actions because what somebody does consistently that's that person's personality it's easy to talk it's easy to say beautiful things to you but to me committed to you that's the hard part and the reason we we at least i i made that mistake but i have learned that's why i'm sharing that with you now is this fear of being alone is making you hang out with people who give a damn about you people who don't care about you people who don't appreciate you they don't support you they are not even loyal to you they are only loyal to the things you can do to them to the things you can provide to them because the moment you're going to tell them 
Oh no, I can do this for you. They're going to start ignoring you, talking shit about you, putting you down. Why? Because they can no longer take advantage of you. That's how you can tell. Whenever you have nothing to offer to somebody, pay attention to how they treat you. Whenever you, you, you make a mistake and you fail, pay attention to how a person treats you. When it's time to call people off from your life, the pain, the damage is already made. So I'm telling you, instead of you calling, stop calling people off and simply don't give people access to you in the first place. Energy does not lie. You can send somebody's energy. You know damn well, you know, that person ain't got nothing good to bring to your life. Why are you going to call that person your friend? Not because you laugh with somebody, that person is your friend. Not because you eat with somebody, that person is your friend. Not because you drink with somebody, that person is your friend. Not because you hustle and you grind with somebody, that person is your friend. You got to pay attention to behaviors. You got to pay attention to how that person take care of himself or how that person view himself or herself. That's something that at least helped me in being selective of, of who I give my energy or who I allow into my life is seeing how that person treats himself or herself. Because if somebody doesn't believe in himself or herself, that person ain't going to come and believe in me. That's impossible. If somebody doesn't see, doesn't love himself or herself, that person is not going to come and love me. And if, that, and, if, and if that person love me, that love is going to be conditional. So I pay attention. How does this person handle his own problems or her own problems? Which type of mindset, which type of habits that person have? Because let not forget that the people we spend the most time with, we're going to take habits, energy, attitude from those people. Be selective with the people you allow in your life. Not everyone is going to love you. I am sorry. Not everyone is going to want the best things for you. Some people are going to come to your life to make sure you fail, to make sure you are broke, to make sure you are poor, to make sure you are unhappy. Some people are going to come to your life to make sure you don't go far in your life. Analyze people before allowing them to your life. Pay attention to actions. You can, you can spend however time you want just trying to know the person. Know the person's mindset, the person's energy, the person's visions of life, the person's belief, the person's attitude. Because some of you, you have friends that you and them, their, their belief are putting you down. Their beliefs are destroying you. So why do you keep somebody whose beliefs are destroying you in your life? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Remove access. Remove access. Remove contact. Remove it. Not everyone is going to love you. And that's okay. Learn to be perfectly okay with you not having friends, with you being single. Learn you being alone, vibing alone. If you can be perfectly okay being alone and you love yourself and you enjoy your own company, you want to be alone craving relationship or craving friendship. Matter of fact, you're going to be more selective with the people you allowed in your life because you're going to be like, huh, I'm alone. When I'm alone, I am good, I am happy, I love myself, I'm enjoying life, I'm doing great. So this person I'm going to allow in my life is either that person is giving me the same positive energy I have being alone or that person ain't coming to my life, period. And it's okay if they don't love you, if they don't believe you, they don't support you. Take them out of your life. Out, out, out. There is around 8 billion people in the world because 2, 3, 5 people, 20, 10 that you know didn't support you, didn't believe in you, you're going to start doing what you are doing? Hell no. Stop cutting people off. Simply remove access. Remove. Don't even give them the chance to hurt you. Don't even give them the chance to treat you as a piece of shit. Don't give them the chance to disrespect you. Don't give them the chance to treat you low, to make you feel as an option. To make you feel as of you and good enough, don't give them the action, the, the, the option. And how do you do that? 
by simply removing access. Remove access. Not everyone deserves to come in your life. Not everyone is going to love you or have the best intentions towards you. So you have to learn to be alone. Be happy by yourself. Think. Take care of yourself. Support yourself. Give yourself all the love that you want to receive from other people. So you don't go around life craving friendship, craving relationship. Oh, be my friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. Because if you cannot be alone, if you do not enjoy being alone, you are going to choose misery. You are going to choose anyone just because you don't want to be alone. And if you choosing anyone, you are going to even going to choose the people who will destroy you. You are going to even choose poison just because you cannot be alone. Learn to be alone. Learn to vibe alone. Learn to be perfectly okay with you simply being by yourself. Stop cutting people off. Simply don't give them access to your life.